all about saving that money. Because we all know my eyelashes need a little help. They need to stand up and stand out, you guys. <laughs> Hey designers and welcome back. I have been to the Dollar Tree and have some pretty fun things to show you, so stick around. All right, you guys, Dollar Tree has been disappointing us all lately, but yesterday I was able to find a few fun things and thought I'd take a minute to share them all with you. First of all, you're gonna remember that last week I went ahead and started picking up some of the gardening tools. Haven't had a chance to use them this week, so I don't yet know how good of quality they are, but they feel like they're gonna work nicely, so I decided to add to that this week. First thing that I picked up was one of the little kneeling pads. I absolutely love these things. The kids had bought me one a couple of years ago for Mother's Day. I think my son actually had picked that up elsewhere. I can't remember where he got it, but I love these things for working in those flower beds because they really do help those knees kneeling on that hard, tough ground. So Dollar Tree has them this year, and I picked one up. Also to add to that gardening supply, I picked up these super cute floral scissors. They do have several colors out. I went ahead and picked up the green because last week you'll remember that some of the little utensils I picked up were green also. So I thought I'd keep it all in the same family, but they did have a blue and I think they had orange. I should have took pictures for you guys, but I didn't even think about it. There were several little colors, but anxious to give these little scissors a try and see how they do. Believe it or not, Dollar Tree also had some pruning shears. I don't remember seeing these in years gone by. They may have had them. I just don't remember seeing them, but I saw them yesterday and definitely want to give these a try. And then also in the floral department, I picked up one of these little pots. This is the kind of pot that is aerated on the inside, has the little hole so that the water can seep through to avoid getting your plants root rot because they're too waterlogged. So definitely wanted to pick this up because I'm sure you can see right here. If you followed the vlogs over on the vlog channel, then you know the other night I finally picked up an orchid after 10 years of waiting. <laughs> they had one on sale and I brought it home, but it looks like the roots are starting to get just a little bit cramped in the little pot they were in. Hence the reason they probably were on clearance. But anyway, nonetheless, picked up a new little pot and going to transplant that and see what we can do with them. To go along with all those little gardening tools that I've been finding, I found this super cute little toolbox. Man, for just one dollar, can't beat that. Look at it down on the inside. Now it doesn't have little compartments in there or anything. It is just an open little square or rectangle, but it is a pretty decent little quality and I figured this would be just perfect for using outside. And check out how easily these tools fit right down in here. Now, the ones I picked up last weekend, the trowel and the little garden rake, they're too long. They're not gonna fit in here, so I'm gonna have to do something different about that. But as far as all the little hand tools, they fit just nicely down in here and I figured that would be very convenient and easy for carrying around with me outside. As far as a few crafting items goes, I found a pair of wire cutters at Dollar Tree this year for just a dollar. Don't have super high hopes that this is going to be an excellent product, but I want to give it a try nonetheless, and we'll be testing this out for you soon on a Worth the Buck Wednesday. Not exactly sure when, just stay tuned and we'll find out together, but to go along with testing that, I did pick up some of this floral wire, and this one is a thicker gauge. Let's see if it'll tell us. I don't see where it tells us what the gauge of the actual wire is, but it's a pretty it's a pretty thick little wire in diameter there. You can see how tough that even is to bend. So I thought that would be a good item to test out with these little cutters to see how well they're gonna work. Because Divine Design does a lot of DIYs around here, I did go ahead and pick up some more of these little twist ties. I love that it is 75 feet worth, 75 feet worth, we don't have feet, we have feet, <laughs> for just the dollar. And these come in handy for all kinds of craft projects that you need little wires for. And it's about one of the cheapest place around to pick it up, so got one of those. While we were in the store yesterday, I actually found some of these round labels. These are the self-sticking labels. Let's see if it'll tell us. There are 160 in here, but it doesn't tell us 
what the actual size of the label is. It does have a picture right there that says that's the actual size of the label. So if I put my finger against that, it looks like it's probably about a good one to one and a half inch diameter, I suppose. Beautiful option for those of you who do crafting things where you need labels. There is a website on the back. Let's see if I can see it here. It's www rmsint.com slash roundadhesivelabels.doc <laughs> I'll just have that link for you down below. That's a long one. Anyway, you're supposed to be able to go on the website to log in there and to get the different templates to be able to print this out on your printer. So I thought for just a buck, 160 labels, definitely worth the try. Even if you didn't want to print on them, if you just wanted to use them with your own little stamps or you wanted to get creative enough to draw and color on your own designs, definitely worth that dollar. Found these super cute little gel pens. These are from Extreme Distance and they're just the regular little gel pens. Let's see. It looks like it's gonna have a medium tip. It doesn't say whether it's medium or fine, but I'm gonna guess that's probably what it is. It's a stainless steel tip and it does have a rubber grip cushion, but I love the colors. Check it out. There's a hot pink. It looks like a neon orange this beautiful blue and then a purple and of course the camera is not going to pick up for you guys any of the neon I don't know why cameras just really don't pick up neon that well but look how these write absolutely love them and love the colors on these and I like to use these like in my planners or sometimes whenever I'm writing little note cards I like to match the ink color with some of the little washi tapes that I'm using so definitely not a bad deal to pick these up at the Dollar Tree. Another little item that we picked up for the hubs because right now I don't know of any deals happening around me nor do I have coupons because we've been on a little couponing hiatus but we did pick him up another one of the little speed sticks not too bad for a dollar if you don't have a couponing deal and then also he was out of his shaving gel so we did pick one of these up now this is comparable to the edge shaving gel so if you're you yourself like the edge or if someone in your family loves the edge this right here is a pretty close i wouldn't actually call it a dupe because there is a little bit difference in it but it's pretty close if you like that edge you can even tell by the packaging that that's what it's meant to mimic so he likes this okay and when we don't have coupons to go and get him the other then he will use this by the end of the week he says he starts feeling just a tad bit of sensitivity but nothing that he can't survive so for just the dollar this super cute little duct tape check out all those candies lollipops and peppermint sticks and chocolates i'm gonna have to guess that this kind of looked like it might have been a christmas type duct tape i never saw it during christmas though and i only saw one roll yesterday so i thought it was cute enough to go ahead and pick up and more than likely i will probably save this until the holiday seasons roll around next year those of you who watched the worth the buck last week will remember that we tested out for you guys one of the little audio speakers and in that video I mentioned needing an aux cable to go with that speaker guess what we found one yesterday at the Dollar Tree now this little aux cable let's see if it'll tell us it is 48 inches long that's a four foot cable definitely not bad for a dollar they had some that were just like the regular coating that they have on i'm not even sure what kind of coating that is that they usually wear but they also had these corded ones and this is the one that my husband suggested we get because they typically last a little longer before that covering kind of starts splitting on those cables and wires you guys know what i'm talking about so we did pick one of these up and we'll be checking it out soon to let you know how it works another item that we picked up that's kind of an outdoorsy item but we picked it up specifically for a worth the buck video is this seven pattern spray nozzle for outside on the water hose check it out one dollar now recently my husband and i went to lowe's to pick him up one for our hose outside and they were anywhere from six to ten dollars some of them were even around fifteen dollars depending on what kind you got so when i saw this one in there yesterday for just a buck i told him i said this would be worth just doing a worth the buck on to see if it's going to be worth stocking up on these at the dollar tree <laughs> because i'm all about saving that money this next deal was too incredible to believe you guys and even if you don't need it 
right now you might need it in the future so for me it was worth it why my husband actually saw it on the shelf and pointed it out to me and said this is a good enough deal for you to have and to sit back and to keep for if or when the next time you need it and that is the monostat 3 that's right the name brand not a generic store brand ladies the monostat which we all know if you've ever had a need for the feminine creams then you know probably as well as I do that the monostat does seem to work better. I'm not sure what the difference is, but let's just be honest, it really does. No, this isn't sponsored by them in any way, but these right here on the Walmart website right now are $16 and some change. It is not cheap. So to have these at the Dollar Tree yesterday for just a dollar, and we did check the dates because I know that a lot of times when Dollar Tree gets the name brand items, especially in the medicines and things, it's because they're either out of date or about to be out of date, but every single one of these are good until August of 2017. So that's still about eight months of shelf life on these and a lot of times you need to do your own research but a lot of times things like this will even last beyond that date as long as they haven't been open but do your own research because not everything works that way but some things do so while they had these in the store at such a good deal look at here I picked up five of those just to have on hand because you know as well as I do if you're ever in need of that you want it you want it on hand you want it in a hurry and you don't want to have to pay 16 bucks to run out and get one and then you guys check out this last bag wait till you see what's in here look at all this I can't get it all in my hands right now but look at these goodies oh my word this is from the brand beauty benefits and I believe this was made by, it is, Marquins. A lot of you guys will notice that brand from all the holiday sets that usually roll out in Walmart, Kmart, and places like that around Christmas time. It's the same brand that makes a lot of those little makeup items, which I have always found to be very satisfactory. So, and as a matter of fact, I believe my daughter told me yesterday, that's the same company that's like the parent company for Wet n Wild. So, I was excited to see these in here. Actually, she found them and she called me over and said, Mom, you really should take a look at these and maybe do a whole face review tutorial kind of thing on these products. So, that's what we're going to do. Look what we found. First of all, they did have the powder foundation. They also had the bronzers in there this one's kind of dark though i think this is going to be more like a contour we found this beautiful blush found this beautiful little eyeshadow trio then they also have these beautiful little eyeliner duos they also had the little duo lip lip pencils they also have a liquid eyeliner they also have a mascara there were two kinds of mascara a thickening one and a lengthening one so I picked up the lengthening one to try first because we all know my eyelashes need a little help they need to stand up and stand out you guys <laughs> then I also picked up a liquid lip color and then we also picked up a lip gloss so I am very excited this is a full face of products from your powder foundation all the way to your lip products so I'm excited be looking for that video very soon probably towards the end of this week and we're going to try them out give you the first impressions let you know how they work and then we will also probably in the vlog for whatever day I do this in the vlog will show you throughout the day so you're going to want to subscribe over there to the vlog channel if you're going to want to keep up with how this actually wears throughout the day because on this channel it'll probably be just like a first impressions as we're putting it on on together all right there you have it I want to thank you all so very much for sitting here with me today always interested in seeing what you guys are finding from the Dollar Tree as well because it looks like some new products are finally starting to hit the shelves and we all can get excited about that <laughs> once again I want to thank you so much for watching today remember you were created for purpose so go and be all you can be I'll see you soon in the next video